Meanwhile, South African e-commerce company Snatcher has voluntarily entered liquidation after eight years of selling affordable electronics from China. Moreover, the online retailer saw an annual turnover of around 25 million rand. The company cites increased competition from cheaper online retailers like Shein and Timu as a major factor in its financial struggles. CEO of the e-commerce forum of Africa and South Africa, Alistair Tempest, shares insights on the matter. Recently, uh, one of the larger e-commerce companies, Snatcher, uh, has declared itself bankrupt. Uh, Snatcher used to sell uh, electronic goods, uh, what they call non-branded goods, coming from China. And the problem that it had was that it fell into competition with uh, a new Chinese entrant to the market, Temu. We've talked about Temu before in, in one of the interviews that I was asked to give to Suweto TV. Um, Temu sells goods at a very, very low price, very low, what they call very low margins. Uh, and Snatcher couldn't keep up with that. Snatcher also fell victim of the fact that because the new entrances uh, to the South African market have put the price of advertising up so much, they weren't able to deal with that issue either. And finally, they had some problems with theft. I think the, the, the lesson that we have to learn from this is that the larger the e-commerce company becomes, the more it needs investment and the more difficult it is to find investment. And this is something that we are very concerned about, um, that there is very little investment for e-commerce in South Africa. However, it's always very sad to see a large company and that they had uh, a uh, turnover of 25 million rand disappearing. And one can only hope that others will take their, their place uh, and be more successful.